Hello, again. I just wanted to show you more of my creatures. My female, Rosie, the Chilean tarantula. What turn? And this spider that I captured. It's a very large spider that I captured. Might be a, some kind of a house spider. Moves. Just try to use a pencil to maneuver it to move it. It's a very large chelicerae. If only I could try to show. Oh, oh yeah, that's a big spider though. It's not the biggest one. Uh, wild caught spider that I've had. I had some pretty big spiders. Did a little burrow there, put it in there, but did, she did not want to go in there. She left. I use that to capture isopods and spiders and stuff. The crickets. I used to keep it in there. I keep the crickets in there, but now mealworms in there. I used to keep them crickets in this 10 gallon as well, but I want to put a uh, scorpion in here. I need to bite. I just found those rocks. This rock used to put, uh, used to be in the tarantula closure, but the tarantula does not like it. I never used it, and I just found these rocks outside. They just look very deserty. I put some bushes in there, dry grass bushes, and here is my pendant imperator again, which which is weird that this little scorpion. So it's I fed it a lot for some reason, just because I wanted it to be healthy, not too fat. But it left some uneaten cricket parts in there, like cricket heads and legs and stuff in it. A little scuttlefly started coming in. That's why I have my window closed. And, and then got full with maggots and mites all over it. And I was like, oh, that sucks. So then I asked online, I was like, hey, what should I do? And then when I came back after asking, I saw that all the cricket parts and body parts were right out here. Like, the Crickets and all the maggots were right there in like one part over there. I was like, how did that? It just, my scorpion just cleaned its room. Just it's strange. And I think I'm going to get that. That cricket. Well, that's a little secondary water bowl, so. Help with humidity. A little hide. There used to be a little piece of bark that I found that went, ran across. And... It got dried up so bad that it cracked. Well, I don't know if it's good or not, but that moss, all the moss, and that piece of wood back there, the little bark piece that I found, I put it back there. All and oh yeah, and that piece, that rock, that little mini log thing. All of that, I found it outside. So it's all that's what. But I washed it. I washed that big, huge rock. I have it there just so he can put get get on it and get some heat for the lamp or something. I put that hide over there for him to be in the warm side. But I guess he only likes being in the cold side. Even though it's pretty high, they're both pretty high. I guess because I've had this off.
for a little while. I don't know how to put the piece that goes on. I have a ceramic heat emitter too, but I want to use it for the other scorpion that I will buy. And I got these lights, it's regular light. Find mist spray and a UV LED or black light. This thing I use it to to view this thing, this creature. All I do is. Set it, turn it on, and then just set it on top. It does, I can view it, and it's also good for the tarantula because I put them on the top like that. And then I can turn off my light, and then there's a spotlight. And that is my small guitar thing, ukulele, I don't know. And yes, these, these are my things, and I'm I'm happy.